that pretty much covers the demonic topic. Yes, sir. Everything that's pretty much going on with that. So, what what are some of the... How did you feel your, your 2020... Because this was your first year putting songs out on the platform, right? Period, yes, sir. So, how do you feel... I jumped in in May. Yeah, how do you feel your 2020 went as far as that, your first year? Uh, first year of music, even with the COVID, I feel like it went pretty well. I learned a lot, um, made plenty of connections with people, built strong relationships like with folks like with you, um, sick with it, Jitta, uh, mended some shit that was taking place in personal as the music. It, 2020, it, it's been good to me. Um, we still managed to get our videos out managed to get Die Young, Hold My Crown, I Got Lil. Um, I managed to do two live performances, one in the valley and one at Friends Steakhouse, cafe, or whatever it's called. Um, so it was, it's was it been very good to me. It's had its ups and downs with as music does, you know what I mean? I've had artists leave my label. I've had the Versus Challenge this year. Uh, Really thought it was going to go a little different for me than what it did, but it was still a lot of learning points in that too. You know, there's a lot of lessons to take home from that situation. So, all in all, 2020 has been 85% good to me and to my music because Da Young is international. Da Young is everywhere, bro. Like, they really don't know. Y'all sleeping on Die Young. It's in Germany, Canada, South Africa, Czech Republic, India, uh, Indonesia. It's in all areas of the United States. It has 73 Shazams. It's been played on the radio 63 times. Okay, 60 okay. something. I was checking the stats the other day. Like So really 2020 has been good to me for my first year in music. Okay. So um, I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay. So that's good. Well, staying kind of on that, what particular lessons did you learn in 2020? My lane. <laughs> my lane. What, staying in your lane or what you mean? I just really found my lane. Found, okay. And when you find your lane, you know how to stay. You learn to stay in it. You know when to swerve out of your lane. Mm -hmm. When you finding your lane is one of the most important things that I think an artist needs to really do. Right. From not just the sound of his music, but the vision of his brand, the the goals he has for his music, for his label, whatever he's trying to do. Like, mm -hmm. and finding your lane is the biggest thing. And. Once I got in that lane, it's just it really helped me out. It helped me more discover myself as an artist. It helped me learn certain things I needed to talk on, what I don't need to talk on. It taught me when to speak up and when it taught me when to shut up. You know what I mean? Okay. It, it's done that for me. Okay. Okay, cool. That's uh, that's uh, pretty good, man. Pretty good. So, what do you project? 2021 to be like? I project 2021 to be the year that I start really ringing some bells. I got a big plan coming, as I said it already in this interview. Um, Devil's Son EP is a five track list being dropped on January 1st at 12 a.m. on all streaming platforms. Um, I'm working on my next projects. I just don't know if I'm going to focus on EPs or if I'm going to focus on singles. Mm -hmm. But my plan is just to keep on pumping y'all music as much as I can, give you more of me. Um, you, 2021 is going to be a year of growth. I plan to have a lot of stuff established for myself. I plan for my merchandise line to take off. I wish I had some bro uh, product on hand with me to hold up and advertise for you. Mm -hmm. But um, if you follow me on any social media platform, you've seen the Graveyard Gang shirts where it's got the little uh, zombie looking, antelope crazy looking thing that said Graveyard Gang on it. That shirt I'm predicting that it's gonna generate and it's gonna be a popular sale for my right. brand or whatever. So I'm hoping, I'm predicting my merchandise line to take off. I'm just predicting that Ryan Graves Mortuary Music gets more discovered by more people. Mm -hmm. um, I'm predicting by 
summertime, I will have a tour booked. I will be on the tour somewhere. I'm working hard right now, so y'all people tell these folks, y'all go at these bars, these clubs, whatever, tell them about your boy. Tell them you want me to come perform. Um, so I just predict that a lot of growth is going to happen in 2021. Because okay. I don't plan on letting up no time soon on what I'm doing, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, growth is usually the key word every year, you know, you just want to, you want to grow daily. You want to be a better person than you were the day before. You want to do something better than you did the day before. You want to, you want to be better at this, be better at that, you know, so I can definitely understand that. Yes. Um, okay, so you're predicting a, a pretty big growth going on in 2021. Well, um. And I hope that we sign more artists. <laughs> I hope that one, my one that I have right now, I hope that I'm predicting that he come out and he going to do some numbers too. Eshawn going to show y'all something. Just got to get that boy to get his music out. Yeah. He yeah. just, he's perfectionist too. He, he wants to sound a certain way, but I predict he's going to do something. Yeah. Sorry, I mean to cut you off. Oh, no, no, no. You good. Had you to good. get that part out there for you my good. boy. Hey, this is about you anyway. You know yes, what I mean? Sir. This is about you and what you got going on. This is Eshawn going to show somebody up, yeah. bro. Eshawn, I got belief in that. I got belief in him as an artist. You know, I've heard him. You know what I'm saying? He was yes. over the goat, so you know what I mean? But, um, 